Well, here we are today, it's Wednesday and it's the 7th Calmick, Wickersley, Alan Taylor's Bomb and Feeder League at Arcroft and it's the 7th match and uh, only two to go now, so the nitty gritty There he is, the organiser, look, one of my best mates, Alan Taylor Next peg, eh? Match organiser And that side, would you believe it, we've got Mr Newfish, Mick Vile look So we're in uh, bad company today the both some really good friends till 10 o'clock and then uh, I don't want to I don't want to know them after that for five hours but this is all Croft and I mean what a complex I mean <laughs> right behind your peg they're doing a lot of building work maybe not for the anglers but they're doing lots of work here and, uh, and there you see so what we're drawn today I've drawn peg 64 look on the island now this is a really good area but the, the whole section is and trust me this section is a proper section of death and I'll explain that in a bit the simple reason is there's six anglers here five of them are in contention and we're all in the same section so as we're throwing them away today um, you could proper get some good points today for me for example I've had a last because I didn't come on one so whatever I got above six will be a bonus uh, but some of them have got worse results a third so I can take points off them today but if you don't then the league could be over today um, but it's what it is so on the top page we've got Andy Sellers the best singer in Yorkshire Tony Cascarino next peg Mick Viles me Alan Taylor Sean Cameron five of them are in the top ten and all got a chance of winning this league so now we're throwing away it's all to play for but this is a great area, that's 64. 73 is the MPEG, and up that end, it's, it's a bit shallower. But when the wind's blowing in there, you just can't beat that peg. It's just unbelievable. All the fish go into the shallow water. It's where the old bridge used to be. And then, uh, if you remember, a, a while ago, we were on 67, and I come second in section and got beat off peg 70. But when it's cold, when it's cold and it's winter, this is a great area. One, you've got an aerator and they live around this area it's a great area now the only good thing about this section is it's a carp section you don't catch skimmers up here this if anything is probably the first peg where to start catching a few skimmers but because you need carp i won't be fishing for skimmers if i catch a skimmer it'll be a pure pure bonus or lucky whichever way you want to put it at the only thing that worries me i ain't seen a carp top and when you're on them you normally see them but this is where they live, just round, it's a great area for carp. So I just hope it, it has milded up because I, I ain't got my top jacket on. And I just hope they haven't got back to that shallow water. If they've gone up there, I ain't got a chance, none of us have. But hopefully we can get a few fish. So my, my setup is pretty straightforward. There you go, I've got two rods set up, two carp rods, 11 foot. One with a hybrid and one with a bomb. Straightforward as that. There's no point in doing anything else. I need to win my section today. If I don't win my section today, I can't win it overall. So my bait setup is pretty straightforward. I've got some six mils, I've got some corn, and I've got my micros. I've got my new floating neons, which I'm going to try, because we've been catching on them in practice on, on these two lakes, so I'll probably start on them. And it's as straightforward as that, to be honest with you. Straightforward as that. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to fish strong to start with, maybe lighten up, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to just fish start just past middle to start with, see if I get any line at any indications, then I'm going to go to that platform over there. I can't chuck to the other platform because I've got a tree there, it's a bit, uh, I might uh, have a few swallows today, so uh, we might get stuck in there. And I'm going to feed my corn line, don't tell them, I'm going to feed my corn line, just there, about 15 metres where it, where it lands, and then I'm going to feed down here for the last hour. Because I think one of the things about Allcroft is this is the best place for ledges. It's a lovely ledge, and you can see that like three, four meters, it's a lovely ledge. And these fish, even in the winter, will come onto this line in the last hour. It really makes a massive difference. So I'm, I'm going to feed just there. I'm going to feed there, and I'm going to fish a feeder and a bomb halfway, and then we feed it to the far bank. And, uh, and, and find out what's going to happen. But I think today is a massive day for everyone in this section, uh, simply because five out of the six, like I said, are in contention. So it's, so it's going to be great. It'll be a great day to win my section because I'll take points off all the leaders. And if I win my section today, I won't be far off winning it. 
um, or we won match to go. So wish me luck, have a great day and uh, go on my polls tonight and you'll get to know the results.